This is a Japanese Nintendo Super Famicom. Now by default this system will only play Japanese region games unless it has a region modification. Now this one does have a region mod and that will allow you to play PAL games. They actually fit perfectly in the system and the console looks identical to the PAL release system anyway, apart from the logo here. However there are some cartridges such as Donkey Kong here where if you try to load it in a stock system that just has the region mod done you'll be greeted by a warning a sort of anti-piracy uh, message you can sometimes see this screen if you've got dirty contacts on the cartridge or if the system itself needs a bit of a clean and this is because the game has detected the systems running at 60 Hertz which is a bit too quick and this is a PAL cartridge so it's looking for 50 Hertz and that's how it's figuring out we're running it on the wrong console now I've installed a 50 to 60 Hertz switch on the back so if we flick that over and we restart the console The game will do the check to see what mode it's running in. And as you can see it sails through just fine. Now you can actually get into the game, switch back to 60 on the fly, and play the game at 60 hertz if you want. But the problem is the game does check on occasion if it's running at 50 or 60. So you could get to this screen change it to 60 and you'll end up with a security message in fact we'll try that now so we've just switched it into 60 and the game will load into a demo and then you'll get this basically so that's because we've switched back into 60 Hertz so the good thing is the Japanese Super Famicom can play PAL region games and if you install a 50 to 60 Hz switch mod you can even get past a few games which have the security feature on them. Now I'm not too sure if there are any little tactics that these games employ to stop you switching systems and one thing is this is obviously outputting in NTSC specifically PAL you'll see it's black and white So it's still outputting an NTSC, but if you've got an NTSC capable TV, which nearly all televisions these days are, and this is an old CRT which does it, then yep, you can play your SNES PAL region games on your Japanese Super Famicom just fine, with a basic 50 to 60 Hz mod and the region unlock mod.